Alright guys, welcome to another video. He wants to be my taxi man for the day. No thanks. So this road it used to be empty, like, I mean, no traffic at all, two years ago. Now it's become more and more busy. This is uh, mid-morning, it's not too crazy at the moment. This is the new metro. So what's interesting about this new metro is that it's been built for about two years now and it remains closed. This side has a gate and a door. You can go and get your train. But this on this side you have a shop and the owner refuses to move. So this station is called Xiaodao. As long as this shop remains there, whenever I want to go and use a train, I need to go to the next station. So it's this way. This advertises a loft. It's an apartment. It says 6,000 square meter. Not sure how new this sign is, but that's considered quite cheap now. 6,000. It's about $800 square meter. The area is still quiet. That's new too. This road is, this wall is kind of useless. You can easily jump into this community now. Of course they have cameras everywhere around the community, but yeah, you know, I think they might need to build this a little taller. You see all these, this area is called Linshi one. Bad. You can rent a place here for as little as 2,000 RMB, and that's about $400. That will get you an apartment in one of these nice looking homes. How much would you have to pay in your area? Now I'm talking about, about I don't know, 80 to 100 square meters. and. This is uh, one of the nicest communities in the area, actually. Most of these houses are, are empty. Some even remain unfinished, unfurnished. Some are just like empty concrete shells waiting for ownership or tenancy. So they have the nest and this wall, this road here, is the first time I've been able to, to walk up here. It's really new. And the first time I've actually seen the houses on the back 
Yeah, not very exciting. Yeah. Well, you know, I can kind of see that in the future, if people from Beijing decide to just, companies decide to move to smaller cities like this, then this, an area like this would be pretty popular. Just need to drive your car out here and you've got a beautiful little house to live in. So nice. Kind of feels like you're not living in China. They look kind of European. And these smaller houses, you know, they're unusual. They're kind of exclusive. A lot of the many of the apartments here are tall buildings. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I can continue walking down here. Looks like it may have been closed off at the bottom. We'll see. Really hot today. I'm filming at 1080, 60 frames per second. My phone is saying flash disabled because the phone is just overheating. By the way, I'm using an iPhone 7. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited that I can walk up this road. It's, that's great, you know. And the best thing is this. Yeah, nothing, it's just silence. When you live in China, you'll eventually embrace the silence, especially after all these noisy, chaotic days that, that you have to suffer through. People will pay for the silence as well. Bills, bills. <laughs> I chose the wrong job, didn't I? Should be in building. Should have uh, set up my own company. Building shit. Wow, what's they doing there? Holy hell. In the distance there, the uh, is that a Mercedes. Nice photo. Shame they can't have these settings for these hoots. Like, you know, like a polite setting where it makes a nice sound. But no, it's just like boom, boom, boom. <sighs> Hate it. There he goes. Wow, new road. New road. It's great. 
for me I just love walking or it's, I, I think it's love it I love it and there it is the station that we're going to So this is the first time I've been able to do this. Now I'm gonna follow where this bike man came from because there's nobody up there. All right, that's good. So the question is, will I be able to get through? I just don't know yet. Let's see how new this is. Car there. For those wondering, you know, what's the best city to live in? I literally spend a lot of money. <laughs> The reason for that is I will go to these fancy hotels and, but um, overall I, I'd be spending a lot more if I was living in the biggest city like Shenzhen or, or Beijing. I don't know what I'm talking about. We know I'm watching this. So. Like they are not so lucky. Oh, look, it's going round. I think people are just testing the luck. Is he actually stumping? She's got off. I guess they're trying to get around it somehow. Push, push, old woman. There you go. I should help her, but. Oh, seems to be doing a, a great job. It's like a builder. There she goes. Off they go. <laughs> Pretty amazing. If we need to. I need to watch the ground here. I don't want to fall down any holes. And I'll be lost forever and ever and ever. Amen. And we're through, I think.
but there doesn't seem to be a way. The roads, these bikes are in the way, and these cars. I need to go over there. I think I should follow this woman. See what she's doing. I think she's gonna climb over this gate. goes my train. No point rushing now. Okay, just go. Get get across. Oh my gosh. Drama. Intro. Roy dies on the floor. Famous YouTuber. impressed oh my gosh oh ay, ay, ay. okay we just walk across now be defiant be strong cross that road done it I'm a fucking junior turn that home Oh, my apple, actually. There's my station. They don't want to be part of the movie, so it's time for me to move on. There's no place to promote their product. Alright, so this is the local station now. So literally I've had to walk 35, 40 minutes to get here. It's the quicker ways, jump in a car, but I like the walk. When you walk, you experience shit, you know, you, you see things. It's called Hua, Hua Nanchang West. Yeah, there are dodgy characters here, but that's okay, just, just keep, going and to be fair these street traders they have it they have it tough because please don't like them being there and you know they need to make a living this is their livelihood chances are they can't that's all they can afford to do So, you know, got to sympathize with it. So this is the station. It's 
very clean, very modern. Look at the line. So right now you have two lines that are open. So line one and line two. And in the future more lines are gonna be ready. Here's a ticket. You get your tickets from there. I, I, I don't need to get. And then you need to go through the security. Like an airport security and then through the gate. This is the ticket machine. It's got English. And we're going to go to the airport. Uh, so uh, just click line two. Line two and uh, here we are. National Airport, and that's going to cost you four yen to go there. How many tickets do I want? Um, I want a return. Does that mean I want two, two pieces? I think so. No, I just need one ticket. One ticket. I need two. So this is the ticket. Please 
请这么扶好，注意脚下安全。搭乘扶梯时，请照顾好身边的老人和小孩。Okay, right now, just like any typical station in Jenjo, bikes everywhere. Seems to be this compound here. Maybe this is the Foxconn. Factory. So why am I here? The reason is, I want to find out what's going on here. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna. <laughs> every you know, all these gates are gonna stop me from finding out anything. But what I can find out is what's outside of the gates. So is this where this phone and all your phones come from? Hmm? Interesting. It's huge, of course. And that's all I can see. See people walking around. It's just building after building. What kind of cruel world we live in. Okay, I'll be honest and say I don't know where we go this way, and I don't know where we go that way but we're here Hi, I'm a famous YouTuber. I get millions of views. Oh, okay. okay. I don't think this is Foxconn, though. I don't know what this is. It's like a different factory. See, there's Foxconn, but they're not letting me in. And this is just another factory. No smoking, no cameras, maybe. Probably no YouTubers, too. Yeah, she's going over there. I guess there might be a shop here or something. Or where's with you? Food and drink management. Alright, it's not Foxconn. Let's go. It's, no, it's the wrong one, isn't it? 